Thanks, guys. Yes, it is Jim here at the Jolly Store. This morning I'm with Rosemary Botten. Good morning, Rosemary. Good morning, Jim. And uh, Rosemary, you are Jeffrey's mom. <laughs> uh, it's funny how we define our parents by the kids that come to camp here. True. Um, we're going to get to your story in just a second, but we have some business to take care of. First, we had a couple of people walk in here this morning uh, with some pretty generous donations. Yes, we did. Uh, Norman Davis from Plattsburgh was in this morning and gave $100 to wow. the kids at Camp Tecumta. And also um, the folks at Al Albert Brown, Inc., they come in here every year. Yep. Uh, very generous. Gave a $250 donation this oh, morning. Beautiful. That goes a long way to helping another kid get to camp. Now, your son, Jeffrey, just to refresh everyone's memory, diagnosed at a very young age with cancer. Yes, Jeffrey was diagnosed a month shy of his third birthday. Okay, so he was uh, treated for his illness and uh, in remission at what age? Uh, so um, with leukemia, they actually have him in remission within the first 30 days. That's an important factor. Yeah. Um, but then he went through treatment for two and a half years. Okay, so that brings him to about five-ish. He's eligible for camp at seven. He's probably ready to go. He wants to go to camp, right? Not quite. <laughs> uh, Jeffrey was always our homebody, so um, he was eligible to go to camp at 7, um, but the nurses could not get him to go. Um, it wasn't until he turned 9. It was actually a month before camp, and registration was long overdue, um, and we went in for his checkup, and Shira Billadu um, said, Jeffrey, you're going to come to camp, right? And Jeffrey's like, no, nope, just like he had every year before. And um, Shira said, you know, hold on a second. And she went out and she got a whole pile of yearbooks and she brought them in and she said, why don't you just kind of look through these and see if you have any questions. And Jeffrey got to look through and he saw all these kids that he knew. I, he, you know, when you're going through treatment at that time, you all went to clinic together on Thursdays and he saw some of them in the hospital when he was in for his stays and he saw them all swimming and on the ropes course and playing games and dressing <laughs> up in costumes and, uh, you know, Shear came in back in and said, you know, what do you think, Jeffrey? And Jeffrey said, I'll go for one day. And Shear <laughs> turned to his father and I and said, I got him. She knew that's all she needed was one day. <laughs> and that one day turned into, my goodness, a lifetime of enjoying camp and being so much a part of it. And then not only him, but he's brought the whole family to camp, too. And there's so much to talk about with you this morning. Um, now, I knew Jeffrey uh, through a project that we had worked on together when he was in high school. He's just a very special young man. And was there a transformation that he had happened with him through his illness and through the experience of camp? Camp because he's such a responsible young adult, or was then. I mean, Jeffrey, how old is Jeffrey now? <laughs> Jeffrey's 26. Yeah, Je and he's working out in? California. <laughs> and uh, But that transformation was a special time for him. It, it really was, and this is something um, that, you know, a lot of families will say, you know, camp does something so magical to, with their children. Um, and I saw that with Jeffrey. The first year that he went, that he was only going for the day, you know, we go to pick him up and there was a new I guess I call it a quiet confidence about him and so whether it was that ability to be with other kids who were like him and not be different um, or not be considered oh that's the kid who has cancer um, he just had this quiet confidence and over his nine years of going to camp that confidence grew uh, and he just became, you know, this amazing young man. I'm very proud of him. And yes, he has brought others to camp. I was so impressed with um, everything camp had done for him. Um, couldn't wait to volunteer. Um, and this year, Jeffrey has come back and volunteered as well. This year, um, my youngest son joined us. So we had all three oh. of us at camp this summer. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah. What a special time that is. All because of one episode a long time ago that kind of brings the whole family together. Again, it's the it's the negative thing turning positive in so many ways for so many families. Yeah, you know, we've had some kids say, especially some campers who are what we call one and done, they come when they're 17 and mm. it's their first and their last year. Some have actually said, I wish I had cancer sooner. 
And you're oh, like, wow. wow, how would somebody say that? But it's it's what camp brought to them. Uh, you know, yes, cancer is a terrible disease. You don't want anyone to get it. But what Camp to Come to can do for these families, um, the special family it creates for you, um, it just it gives you a lot of positive reinforcement, support, love, fun. Uh, there's so many wonderful things about it. That's what your money does, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, give give us a call this morning and make that donation and turn cancer into a very positive thing. As you witnessed here today with Rosemary Bond, thank you. I want to talk to you a little bit later next time about your involvement in camp and your uh, photography skills. <laughs> <laughs> for now, Jim Gratton along with Rosemary Botten at the Jolly Store on Route 3 in Plattsburgh for Cool 105. Thanks, John and Mark. It is Jim Gratton along with Rosemary Botten this morning here at the Jolly Store. Good morning, Rosemary. Good morning, Jim. We talked a little early about Jeff and uh, how he was transformed at camp, and that happens with every kid at camp. And you, you've played so many roles at camp. You've uh, been the mom, you've, um, you're on the board now, and in between there, you were a photographer. Yes, I did photography for the summer week for six years, and I still do it on winter weekends. Too. Still doing it. And we have a yearbook here. I, I've been pushing this yearbook all week long because a picture's worth a thousand words, and there's so many really neat pictures in there. But I wanted to talk to you this morning about your experience as a photographer and those moments that you've seen through the lens and what you've captured. There's a magic of camp that, uh, well, the, you can talk a little bit, too, about how that magic happens. It, it is really special. Um, you know, photography is a, a passion of mine, and um, I have found there's probably no better place to try to capture um, some terrific images than at Camp Tecumta. Uh You get the opportunity to partake in all the different areas and, and see things transpire. And um, every year or every weekend, I always felt I had that one picture, that one picture that just absolutely melted my heart and represented all all that camp really is. It could be a tender moment between a camper and a counselor um, where you just know they're making a difference for that child and the grin on their face really says everything. They feel special. Um, you know, they feel like, you know, they're one in a million. Um, or it could be something a child accomplished. Uh, you know, you could see a child who's petrified um, <laughs> go off the platform onto the zip line and their scream is a <laughs> scream of joy and the image on their face is, um, you know, just so enlightened and thrilled and scared and happy and all these different things. And um, when you can capture that and show it to the parents at the end of the week, when the parents come, um, we put a slideshow on. So here's these parents who haven't seen their child for seven days. They, you know, they, they know what they're doing, but they don't know what they're doing. And if you can capture that and show them uh, just what their child can accomplish, their child being a kid um, without having to be concerned with cancer for the week. That's really special. Yeah, Judy Peterson is a photographer also. And yes. she was we were talking about that a little earlier this week and we have a yearbook here. And every picture really tells a story because we were leafing through that and oh there's so and so and here's what happened behind the scenes on mm -hmm. that picture. But I wanted to ask you if you could pick one photograph or one photograph that you've taken and what that moment has meant to you and for maybe the campers involved that was special. Uh, you know, there's probably so many. Um, every year I seem to feel like I have one favorite. Um, but one, um, and I believe I may have shared it before, but again, it's just a tender moment to me, is we had a, um, a boy in the youngest cabin. And, um, you know, uh, he was, at times was struggling to fit in. And so a counselor would kind of take him one-on-one -on -one to the side and they'd either sit and talk or play. And um, I happened to have my telephoto lens on and they had been down by the ropes course. And the counselor had taken him to the side and the um, camper was kind of he was laying down on the grass and the camper was kind of sitting on top of him and the counselor started kind of tossing him up in the air oh. like well you would have kid him back down and I just kind of got down really low with my telephoto lens and zoomed in on that moment and again the look on this child's face of pure delight, of happiness, of um, joy, it, it just was so meaningful to me. And I think it, it really captured what camp is all about and what these volunteers do for these children. Uh, without these volunteers, we couldn't put these programs on. We, You said earlier, you know, it's you guys seem to come up with an idea and it, it happens. And it's these creative minds, these people who give of themselves time away from their families, time away from their jobs 
things uh, that, that makes camp so magical. Wow. Well, thank you for peeling away the curtain a little bit about the magic of camp and for capturing those moments, too. Uh, moments that that was what your money does, ladies and gentlemen. And when you give to Camp to Come to, it creates these special moments for these special campers. Rosemary, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Great, great to be here. And thank you, John and Mark. Uh, it's Jim Gratton along with Rosemary Botton here at the Jolly Store on Route 3 in Plattsburgh for Cool 105.